Hi everyone. Have you ever had to create a guide for someone? Then you know the tedious step that it takes. First, you have to take screen capture and crop those screen capture, bring into a graphic program. Then you have to focus on your content, creating that, bringing it, merging it all together to make one good guide. Well, I'm going to introduce you to something that's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money. It's called Guide Jar. Guide Jar could help you create interactive demo products. And now I'm on the main page of Guide Jar. It's so simple. It's just basically three steps. Here it is on the page. It shows you you walk through your workflow, and all you have to do is uh, download the Chrome extension and make sure you pin it up here. And once you click on this. There you go. You have start capture and then this dashboard, and then you customize after it captures every click of the step that you go through. And you could change the color, match it up to your branding, and you could also export it and share it with your team. Let me just dive right on in and show you what it has to offer. So once you go into the dashboard, it's very intuitive. You see here. Here's my team. And you'll see my all my past guide right in front, and then I could also create or delete folders to keep myself organized or rename. Here's one I created. Let's say I'll delete it, and I'm going to create another one, and I'll call this this one. Rename it because I didn't put the name in. Flickr. That's a photography site, and then I could rename this to. Maybe OIT help. So I could organize my guides in here, and then make sure you go to the setting. And this is where you name your team. And I'm gonna remove my logo and add it back in just to show you how easy it is. And you could put, of course, your URL in there. And then here you have your branding. You could choose the color. Right now, it's defaulting at purple. You can move this around, and maybe you want it green, or I like pink. You know, matching it, and then you want the market transparency to be at what percentage? Right now, it's at forty, and you want a scroll guide, yes, no, and then you want it to zoom in, zoom delay. So you could check through all these customized possibility and. Make sure you have a URL button, a call to action, and then the next one you could go in is your team member. You could invite different teams depending on what plan you have. So you go back to home, and let's start with a guide. I want to show the steps of how to go use Flickr and go to the group. Pan is unlimited, so I'm going to either click down here or click up there. So this is nice when I'm outside of this dashboard and I always have it available, and I'm I could see something. And I said, "Oh, this would might be useful for my team." So I'll click on here, and then I click Start Capture, and now it's telling you that it's capturing it. So I'm going to click over there, and every click that I make, it takes a picture of it. I go to you, go down to Groups, and then I'm going to my group. Pan is unlimited, and then I'm going to scroll down. I want to download this photo. So next, I'm going to show them that I click here to download, and I have various size. Go there, and there is my download. So now I want to stop the guide. You see where it's blinking right here. Simply just, if I didn't like it, I could discard, or I could just hit stop capture. And once I stop capture, it's going to show me. The list view of this, which is up here, is a list view, and there's also like an interactive slideshow view where it tells me I have one, one and eight, and I could just go through this way. So depending on your audience, you know what they like. Someone might like just a simple straight page or a PDF. You could give them this. You have many possibilities, and up here it says, you know. There's nine steps. It has analytics. Who's viewing this? Because you could host your guide on here, and let's go in and edit. So once you go in and you could edit the guide, 
it reminds you to add in the description. So I can say, visit Flickr, a photography site. And I could change the size. I'm going to leave it at this size. Um, I could also hide all my image with a click of a button. And I could go in here to the right side. Let me push this so you could see. You could click on the pencil to edit. And you could edit out the URL if you want. Uh, I'm going to put maybe flickr.com. And then I could hit check. I could also add in an image too. I could just pop in an image, but this might be really a big one. Yes. And I'm just going to delete it too, just to show you. There you go. It's very easy. The way you add in, the way you delete. And you could have all these options. You could download the image. Uh, you could reset your marker too. So I, this one is in the wrong place and I want it to show here. So I could reset it right there and I could edit the image, click here, see? And then I could use the rectangular tool to show where I want them to focus on. And I could simply drag this in just to adjust it right there. And then I could add my text text in here. I move my text up here and I could say right in here, C group discussion. And I could bold and hit done. And then don't forget to hit save. And voila, there you go. Okay, so now I'm going to hit finish. And then you could see all my guide, like there's all these steps, like one, two, three. And I could actually record another guide and insert it into here too, if I'm missing something. So you don't have to worry if you messed up, you have many chances to just edit this. It's so flexible and it makes your life so much easier with this. And when you hit share, uh, you could copy the link right there. Everything's very easy. And you could send this link, this guide to someone, or you could even embed it and take this HTML code and embed it. You could also control here, flexible, the guide, don't show, no, and all this, all these possibilities. And you could look at the permission, anyone with the link, you want it restricted, or you want this one. And then let's go back. And I'm going to hit export right there. So I could export this as a PDF. I could export it as an HTML, paste it. And then we, in the future, could export as uh, mp4 which is great because nowadays video is everything everybody views everything on video so for this sake of the demo i'm going to download as a pdf just so you could see how it looks how long would this take me to create this manually it would take me a very long time i would have to crop all this I have to type in and it's, and it won't even be as pretty as this. And I could simply share this with someone if I didn't want to send the PDF, you know, as a link. So let's talk about prices. The good news is right now on AppSumo, there's a lifetime deal with just $49 for the first year, depending on how much you need, how much, um, you plan to use how big your team is. So for the first plan, you have 10 members per team, very generous, unlimited guides. You could share this link. You could embed it anywhere, like I showed you, and you have extensive customization and you have no branding and you have one for analytics because you, you could create a beautiful product, but you want to know how well you're doing so you could improve the process next time. And if you have a bigger team, you might want to go with the plan 
two, which is $98 and that's 20 members. So this is a no brainer. I definitely would get this because many of us have to show someone how to do something, whether it's my mother, whether it's at work, this would save me a lot of headache and a lot of time, you know, just the graphic alone being imported into the document. It is so smart. It's like my assistant. So let me know what you think about this. If you purchase this, let me know what type of guides you create. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.